I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos, and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh, flesh and bone. And you have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me.
passage in the temple. to feeding on flesh and bone, Matrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. Life 
sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantarak's hearts. The essence of a corpse god. To some it is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. Guard it well.
shall not run. Instead, you will die. Where is the essence of Mantarok? Where is it? I will not ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. <laughs>